going to go to Add Materials and Add an Assessment. I am going to call this Assessment Equations. I'm going to set the due date, points, enable submission, and go ahead and hit Create. Now, from there, I will get the setup, and I can type in instructions if I'd like. I can go through all of the different setup options, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click Question. I'm going to scroll down to Highlight Image. From there, I am going to type in the question. Solve x plus 2 equals 10 using all four steps to solving an equation. Next, I'm going to upload an image. Now, what I did prior was create a blank white rectangle that I saved to my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and find that white rectangle and hit upload. Now, you can't see it because, well, it's a white rectangle. <laughs> then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to save my question. I'm actually going to make this zero points because what I'm going to do next is add a fill in the blank. So I'm going to do solve x plus 2 x plus 2 equals 10 x equals underscore, and there is my response. So I'm going to click 8 and hit save. So what this does is this is just where the students are going to show their work, and the bottom one is where they're going to write their answer. Now, make it a very short assessment, and I'm all set. I'll show you what it looks like from the student aspect. As a student, I'm going to click on Start Attempt. From there, the first question will pop up. Now I can use my mouse or my touch screen. Now I wouldn't do this if students did not have a touch screen as using a mouse is not usually the best way to use this feature. So I have shown my work. Go ahead and click next. I'm gonna type in my answer of eight. Review and hit finish. Do you want to submit it? Yes, I do. Notice there's no grade because the teacher still has work to grade. To grade the assignment, I'm going to go to the assessment, equations, click on grading, and as you see, this first question needs grading. Here's the super cool part. It shows me all of the student work so I can see exactly in real time what the students did. So all I'm doing is looking for their work. They showed their work so it doesn't affect the grade. Or you could just grade this one if you would like to. Go to the next question. The student solved it correctly. And their work is all done. Just a replay of um, their first problem. And if I go to reporting, she got 100%. Nice job.